Welcome to the Springfield Civic Center in Springfield, Massachusetts for the 18th edition of the Sherpine Hall of Fame Tip-Off Classic. Out of the desert comes a new floor general looking to blend the new cats with the high-flying cast already in place. North Carolina's freshman made an immediate impact last season, providing a steady blend of effort with flashes of brilliance. Expectations are running high as their leader has his sights set on a history-making season. It's the number 19 Arizona Wildcats versus number 7 North Carolina Tar Heels coming up. But first, let's check in the studio with Mike Tarico. Okay, John, the tip-off classic going to tip off a great weekend of college sports on ESPN and the Deuce in the next 28 hours. Four hoop games, five football games on rivalry weekend. So just settle in and enjoy. Some games already underway on the Deuce. Indiana, an 11-0 run early. They've scored 12 more from the free throw line than St. Louis. In the second round of the NIT, they lead St. Louis by seven. Boston College got off to a quick start, but Brown has closed that game up. It's really opening night. A lot of college basketball teams in action. Scores and highlights throughout the night and at halftime. And it's a triple header tonight on ESPN. Arizona, North Carolina, of course, tips off next. Then the NIT quarterfinal doubleheader. Vandy and Duke, Oklahoma State, and Tulsa. Coming up, send you back to John Saunders and Dick Vitale in Springfield. The debut of the much-heralded Mike Bibby, Antoine Jamerson, who started all his games last year. Carolina and the Cats tip off next. The results are in. At least we'll be the loudest team. <laughs> College basketball's favorite wacky announcer Jeez. scores on home video. That's awesome, baby, with a count the lag. Dick Vitale's Green Time Baby takes you center court where the blood pressure rises. He's jamming. And he's slamming. And where college basketball history is made. City. If you love basketball as much as Dick Vitale, it doesn't get better than this, baby. This video's for you. Hello. Dick Vitale's Green Time Baby. Now available on home video. The treasures you own and the places you go are your lifestyle. And one magazine has captured it. In every issue, discover things like a unique golf swing, fly a Russian maid. Beat the odds. Fantasy hideaway. Race of Formula One. It's all there. And where is it? Cigar aficionado. And you don't have to smoke cigars to love it. And you'll get six issues for just $19.95 when you call 1-800-501-CIGAR. a good time to introduce the new more responsive Volvo 850 GLT. Drive safely. Hey Buzz, long time no see. Toy Story toys have arrived at Burger King. Eight new toys from Disney's magical adventure movie, Toy Story, now on video. Your kids can collect all eight, one with every great tasting $1.99 Kids Club hamburger meal. Toy Story toys, only at Burger King. ESPN's presentation of NCAA Basketball is brought to you by Surefine and your local Surefine retailer. By Volvo. Volvo reminds you to drive safely. And by Nike. And welcome back once again to Springfield, Massachusetts for the Surefine Hall of Fame tip-off classic, the Wildcats and the Tar Heels. Hello, everyone. I'm John Saunders alongside Dick Vitale. Hall of Fame tip-off classic. Appropriately enough, we have a Hall of Fame coach for the Tar Heels, Dean Smith, who this year could pass it off rough for wins. Well, I'll tell you, John, you talk about Dean Smith, we talk about 851 wins. He needs 876 to become the all-time winner in college basketball. And his record is just impeccable. Think about 22 consecutive NCAA bursts. You think about 26 consecutive 20-game win seasons. I mean, it's unbelievable what he's achieved. That's why I call him the Michelangelo of coaches. And he's done it with a great deal of integrity and with lots of class. Not to mention the 10 Final Fours and the two national two championships. National titles. It's time now to take a look at our starting lineups. We begin with Arizona. 
and they will have a youngster running the team, Mike Bibby, much heralded freshman. Well, you know, his dad, Henry Bibby, the former NBA player now coaching at Southern Cal, scored over 3,000 points in high school, but they say the best part of his game is distributing the basketball. And for North Carolina, again, a freshman running the point, Ed Coda. A genuine point guard, a guy that distributes the basketball, creates, penetrates, can make open shots. He's from New York City, the Big Apple. Only one of three freshmen ever to start at the point. The other two, Bill Ford and Kenny Smith. Miles Simon, a big story for Arizona. He would be back there as a starter, the only returning starter. Some problems with academics. He paid his own way here to cheer on his team. Hey, John, think about this, how much they'll miss this guy. He last year scored 20 points seven times or more, 20 or more points. They were six and one. Their only loss was to Kansas when he went over to 20 mark. Jason Terry has to become big and be very productive today at that two guard slot. All right, we're just about ready to get things underway. And we had a talk with Mike Bibby before during the shoot around. He said, quite simply, he's a little nervous to get his college career underway. Well, he said he's nervous. I said, don't worry about that, Mike. I'm nervous every time before I go on a year, before I speak. I got the butterflies right now, John. Calm me down. I'm nervous, John. We'll calm you down over the course of the next two hours, the first of three here on ESPN. It's great to be right here with James Mason really discovered this game a canadian james nason that's right almost <laughs> shot in the wrong basket <laughs> sure did that was the right basket on actually he fooled himself he yeah. went down there and thought he was shooting it in the wrong basket he made us think it was the wrong basket the way he hesitated baby with his first college shot off the mark swicker grabs the rebound and ed coda is off to the races Coda's a penetrator, excellent ball handler. Davis is tremendous offensive rebounder. Shamond Williams, who will run the point and be a two-guard. Man-to-man -man defense by Arizona. Nice backdoor cut. Vince Carter denied, swatted out of bounds. A.J. Bramlett, with a good defensive play, rotating over, becomes a key player for Arizona. Ludolson's biggest concern is interior defense and interior scoring. Tar Heels remain in possession. Oh, they, lost. they lost so much from last year, John, with Ben Davis. Oh, Wicker misses the chippy. Rebounded again out of bounds, and it belongs to Arizona. You think about the guys they lost with Ben Davis now in the NBA. Reggie Geary's in the NBA at the right team, a defensive-minded team, the Cleveland Cavaliers with Mike Fritzell. Lost a whole lot, and then not to have Miles Simon as well. Needs all five starters from last year not in this game. Dickerson down to the baseline, double team, trying to find a way out of it. Finally, Harris helps him out, and that'll be a backcourt violation. No Coda chases it down, takes it to the glass and lays it in. Nice drive by Ed Coda. Saw him in a magic Adidas classic last year, and he played really brilliantly. But interesting stories. Battled so much in his life. Mom and dad in a serious car crash. Terry for three. Off the back iron. Shaman Williams. Terry steps up on him and forces the turnover. That's a big concern with Shaman handling the basketball. Bibby dumps it down to the baseline and it's knocked in there by Dickerson. Bibby shows his unselfishness. The kid scored over 3,000 points. Great vision. Kicks it out to Dickerson. Dickerson's been a, a big scorer this year. Coda looking to dump it inside. Shaman Williams for three off the back iron. And Terry goes up and grabs the rebound. Tries to force it inside. Bodies flying everywhere. Dean Smith wondering where the foul was. Dickerson pulls up with the jumper and buries it. He could be a big time scorer. He's got great scoring ability. He's got a scorer's mentality. You know, we talk about North Carolina and the 22 consecutive years for the NCAA. Arizona's went 12 consecutive years. They rate one and two in America. Coda trying to fight his way around Bibby. Matchup defense right now by Arizona. Wicker, a little jump hook, a little strong with it, bounces out. Very quick, very athletic, this Arizona team. Simon gives them another dimension, John, if they had Simon, a wing scorer. 
They become outstanding on the perimeter with Simon Dickerson and Bibby and Terry in the rotation. Dickerson from the wing knocks in a three-pointer. He can score. He said, that's my guy, Miles Simon, man. I got to carry the load tonight. Little trifecta. From out of Seattle, Washington. Arizona jumps into an early 7-2 lead. Coda lob it inside. A little foul. And the foul goes against A.J. Bramlett. Arizona, we mentioned all the players they are missing from last year, a 26-7 record, second place in the Pac-10. Kansas got them in the tournament in the Sweet 16, but losing 63% of their scoring and 65% of their rebound. Well, they also lost Joseph Blair, but they lost him in the middle of the year. As you look at Miles Simon, he's a brother-in-law of Darrell Strawberry. In fact, he went to Baltimore and saw Strawberry play when he hit the three home runs to beat Baltimore. Darrell Strawberry with an eight, another World Series ring, both of them coming in New York. He was with years apart. He was with Chris Myers today on up close. Chris does an outstanding job with that program. Adimola Okalaja, number 13 on the floor for the wheel. One of the favorite players of Dean Smith because he does so many good things. Passes the ball well. And check goes against Bennett Davison. He's a Juco player of the year out of California. Davison has to really be productive. Very quick, agile. He can go inside, outside. They're very high on him. They think that he's going to make a solid contribution to their baseline. MVP of his conference, as well as being the player of the year. As you Played in the San Francisco Summer Pro League against all the pros. Joe Smith, Jason Kidd. Nice backdoor cut. Coda can't convert. And then bodies flying everywhere. Look how quick. I mean, they really are quick, Arizona. Dickerson off the mark, tips back up. And saved by Ed Coda. I really believe a key player for Carolina will be Vince Porter. He has to have a big year. And Carter gets it again. Uh -oh. I mean, talk about getting up twice in a hurry. There's Mr. Carter. He's got the great legs. He's got tremendous jumping ability, as you can see there. Dickerson takes it into the heels. And then we've got a foul underneath. Oak Elijah with a foul. There's a look at 15, John. Vince Carter, he's got the tremendous legs. Keeps the ball alight. Here he goes now, back up. Look at his bounce. I mean, he jumps like I jump. I could jump like that, John. Jam City. You frozen yet? Just the surface. You're yeah, a little soft in the middle. We're cracking up back here, Bob. I'm frozen first. I'm frozen down and frozen. <laughs> Anything but Coca-Cola and we melt. I love it. Give me that Coca-Cola. <laughs> hey, nice ceiling fan. That's Coca-Cola. <laughs> Woo, that's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. for a while. Delicious. A front airbag is a very powerful device designed to help protect an adult, not a child. Because of the size of the bag and the speed of its inflation, Volvo believes no child should ever be placed in the front seat of a car. Any car. Drive safely. Introducing a new look from Budweiser. Born on dating. It's the day your bud was born. Because fresh beer tastes better. Nice label. Thanks. Welcome back to Springfield. The Surefine Hall of Fame tip-off classic. Arizona with a 7-4 lead. And as you mentioned, Dick, consecutive trips to the tournament. Carolina on top. Arizona is second. Well, what an amazing job Lute Olsen has done when you think about it. Over the last nine years, they have the winningest program in college basketball. In the 90s, they rate fourth. Kansas is number one, Kentucky, Arkansas, and Arizona in percentage of wins. 
Terry went into the paint, lost his footing. Mike, Mike, Mike. Carter from the wing for three, knocks it in. I think he's going to have a big, big year this year. I think you're going to see a different player with Vince Carter. He's going to get all the PG, play in time. Last year, he got a little bit unhappy. His high school coach had to come down and try to talk to him. Terry misses everything with the outside shot. Carolina's ball. He was Mr. Basketball in Florida. Broke the heart of Lon Kruger then at Florida and Pat Kennedy at Florida State. There he is squaring his body. Gets the good look. Tickles the twine. A little MPF. Nothing but nylon, John Condon. Going into down, you saw him able to leap. Get up for the slam and then the outside touch as well. Bob inside. Jamison fat battles for it, but can't grab it and turns over. Arizona does a great job in designing their defensive schemes. They do an excellent job looking at film. This guy can flat out coach. He's done an amazing job everywhere he's been. They're having a tough time, North Carolina, getting the ball to Antoine Jamison. Again in the paint, Bibby, the second Arizona player to hit the floor when he went into the lane. Lou also saying, what's going on? Carter hits the side of the basket, and we got a jump ball situation. The possession arrow belongs to Arizona. I promise I wouldn't say that was Brick City, USA, John. I promise I wouldn't say quite a brick one. I promise I wouldn't say he looked like you shooting the jumper there. I'm only teasing. You don't have the hockey stick in your hand. Right after you said that he's going to have a big game, he must have heard you down there because he hit the side of the backboard. North Carolina now rotates to the 2-3 zone. Got to get in those gaps in the wings. Maybe he's going to try to attack the top two. Dribble penetration. Everybody crashing the glass, and Carolina comes away with the rebound. Oak Elijah, Bibby cuts him off. Worker in that 2-3 just stays in the lane, and his size becomes a fat. Oh, and Bramley comes over to break that play up. It's saved. Jamon Williams, I'm impressed with the quickness of Arizona. And Shimon Williams knocks in the three. Yeah, he can shoot the ball. He was prolific off the bench last year. He shot better than 40% from three-point range. Dickerson from the wing. But he missed Jamison. Had him open down court. Chips out of bounds. And we want to remind everyone that this Thank is you. a doubleheader of the NIT quarterfinals. Vanderbilt and Duke, Pete Goddett. Yeah, Peter Goddett's going to be on the sideline for Vanderbilt as an assistant coach. And Duke was awesome the other night against St. Joe's. They have a very versatile team. Oklahoma State won at the buzzer against St. Mary's. And Tulsa with that scintillating win on the road. Steve Robinson's kids were on cloud nine beating UCLA. Pete Goddett, who of course coached for Coach Mike Krzyzewski when Mike was... Having the back problems, had to sit out most of one year. Shimon Williams looks to pull off back to Zwicker, who returns the favor. Hoda really shows some poise for a diaper dandy, a freshman. Oak Elijah looks to drive. Davison cuts him off, and the pass for Zwicker is knocked out of bounds. North Carolina came out of the gate last year, surprised a lot of people, jumped off 7-1 and one in a conference and then struggled in a lot of part of the year because I think a little fatigue set in. Plus, people really, really got a little bit wise and were able to adjust to certain situations against them. Dickerson comes back to the top of the key. How good was Dickerson last year? At the end of the year, he was their leading scorer in the NCAAs. Averaged 19 points a game in the three NCAA games. Is that matchup zone, 2-3. Shot clock is down to 8 as Terry lets it fly and again misses everything. No reset on the clock. Now, they've got to recognize this. Jason Terry, I'm not sure if he does. And Dickerson does not get the shot off. Good call right there, John. Good call. Good Olsen had a nine-year run in Iowa where he did a heck of a job. Went to the Final Four in 1980. There's Miles Simon on the sideline. A little look into his academic situation. They're taking a little look there. They hope to have him back quickly. Coda dumps it inside, looking for Jameson, but the double team takes it away. Coda pulls up and knocks in the jumper. See, that's what will make him special. If he can make the open jump shot, which I believe he can make. Quickly down the floor. Davison is moving to the basket before he got the ball. Coda really can handle that rock. Look at him handle that rock. Back nice. outside to Shimon Williams. Yeah. 
foul on Bramlett as Okalaja went up. Changes. Harris returns as Bramlett goes to the bench. And quickly, a foul goes against North Carolina. As they try and set an illegal screen, getting the ball back and forth. North Carolina playing seven players right now, basically, as you look at the seal. They feel he'll be a contributor eventually up the wall from out of Bulgaria. But they're going to play basically a seven-man rotation, but they can play multiple positions. A guy like Carter could play the wing, could play the second guard slot. Shaman could play number one or number two, so they'll get more variations. Bibby looks for the three. It won't go. Okalaja with a big rebound. I like Okalaja. Adam Ola is a solid role player. Oh, Eddie Coda. Eddie Coda. His coach, Brock Eisenberg, who did a great job with him at Silton High, has got to be smiling. Bibby buries the three. That's just one of many. That's the first trifecta for Michael Bibby. But they'll be calling his name out of McHale Center often. Carter off the mark. Edgerson grabbed the rebound. Jason Terry nearly loses the handle. He's got great passing ability, Bibby. He's got his head up, good vision, likes watching him in a workout today. Shot clock approaching 10. 20-second timeout by Arizona. A little bit confused exactly what they wanted to do down there. You're allowed three 20-second timeouts this year and two regular timeouts. It's one of the changes rule-wise. There aren't really many changes in terms of rules. We're going to take a look at little Eddie Coder right here. There he is, number five, pulling up with the left hand. Changes from right to left, gets in the lane, and a lot of good things happen. Now, Mr. Bibby says, anything you can do, I can do better, Eddie. Anything you can do, I can do better, and I can shoot the rock. Was raised by his mom, Virginia, who really played a big role in his life, Michael Bibby. His dad even said, I love my son, but you got to credit my wife. She raised him. He's a quality kid. It's been documented. Mom and dad have went their separate ways. Bibby with an NBA three misses everything. And that is one of the reasons why Michael Bibby did not end up at USC, where his dad is now the head coach. James is really having a tough time getting the basketball inside. Swicker reaches down to pick it up and tipped away. Jason Terry trying to take it all the way. Rolls around but won't go for him. Okalaja with the rebound. Okalaja from out of Germany. His mother, a mechanical engineer, was recommended to North Carolina by Henry Rodel. Remember when Rodel played out? Henrik Rodel played in North Carolina. They played together in Germany. Elijah looks to drive, dumps it down to Jamison. A little short with the shot. He's got that quick release. Antoine Jamison was outstanding in Charlotte, North Carolina, both on the AAU level and on the high school level. The Tarios leading it by four halfway through the first half. Clean. Clean is my business. So when I'm on the road, Super 8's my motel. Clean carpets, clean seats, clean. Clean inside and out. Life's great at Super 8. When plumbers hit the road, they carry more than a truckload of faucets and pipes. They carry knowledge about products. Like why the finishes and solid brass construction of Delta faucets are right for you. They carry knowledge about styles and knowledge about procedures and codes that tell you they're as committed to perfection as we at Delta are. In fact, there's only one thing as dependable as Delta faucets, and that's the plumber who installs them. Delta, the way water is brought to life. A front airbag is a very powerful device designed to help protect an adult, not a child. Because of the size of the bag and the speed of its inflation, Volvo believes no child should ever be placed in the front seat of a car. Drive safely. Very bad dog. 
sometimes you really need a Polaroid one-step camera. And now you can get one for under 25 bucks. Oh, dear. Welcome back to Springfield, everyone. John Saunders alongside Dick Vitale. Carolina with a four-point lead, even though they haven't been able to get the ball to their main man. Well, you know, Antoine Jamison hasn't scored yet, but he will. Here he is trying to be active inside number 33, and they're in denial now. Beat him to the spot. They're really aware where he is. Last year, he had such a great start early. They went 16-4, and 7-1 in the league. As you look at his numbers right here and then later. Well, I had him in his first three games. That was at the Maui Invitational last year, and he just came out like gangbusters, but then other teams caught on to him and decided to slack back in on Jameson to take away some of his points. Well, they really adjusted to him, and they doubled him up, but he had a great year. It was co-rookie of the year with Stefan Marbury, and also one of only five freshmen ever to make the All-ACC team as a freshman, and that's an amazing achievement. Swicker was open, they missed him inside. Look at the Swicker. Well, got he, him. he hesitated. That worked sooner. Hesitated when he did. Yeah, he took steps. He had a little knee problem. They're really looking for help out of Maktar Jai. Maktar Jai not with them, as you documented earlier. Well, he apparently has to sit out some games because of possible illegal benefits. Although, we'll talk more about this as the game progresses, but hopefully they'll get that resolved at some point. Zone defense right here. Oh, Elijah but he knocks it back into Anderson, who drops it in. Eggerson from out of New Orleans played at St. Augustine down there in New Orleans. They were rated number one in America his junior year and his senior year took him to the semifinals where they lost to Lester Earl for the state championship. Well, remember that name. He'll be playing for LSU. Player of the year in Arizona. Step Ed Coda trying to get away from Bibby and walk. You know, you mentioned Jai a little bit earlier. Played at Wake Forest, played at Michigan and was looking forward to playing here. They said his heart was broken, Dean Smith, last night when they were having a team dinner at the Angus restaurant in Chapel Hill, and they notified him that he couldn't make the trip. I can flat out tell you this. It involves the last, the first six weeks after he played in high school, and the bottom line, as we watch the diagonal pass for the jam, it involved the six weeks that he stayed with Sonny Vaccaro, and let me simply tell you this. Sonny Vaccaro had a letter from the mom and dad of Mr. Jai to be his guardian. So during that time, he was only offering his services based on a phone call he received from Steve Smith, the high school coach, and he didn't know much about Mac Tarr, and he tried, he took him into his home, and I think that'll all be rectified before it's all said and done quickly. Well, interesting, you're trying to say that he's steering them towards sunny schools, but the three schools that he, he ended up... He wasn't even with the I mean, at the time. But even still, the three schools are Nike schools, so... Oh, that's right, Wake Forest, Michigan, North Carolina, you're right. So obviously that likely will get resolved very quickly and hopefully he'll be able to play their next game against Richmond at home. Changing defense is Arizona. Arizona's going to win a lot of games this year, John. They're going to be quick. They're going to be a different looking team than they were last year. Jamon Williams for three buries it. Dakota really frees up Shaman Williams with his ball handling skills, and Shaman is an excellent spot-up shooter. Dickerson tries to answer back, and Davidson has it stripped by Shaman Williams. He has really improved in his three years here at Carolina. Look at Jamison, he missed him inside. Good rotation. Big block underneath by Bennett Davidson. Bennett Davidson with that quickness. They got a lot of quickness on the inside with guys like Bramley and Davidson and Harris. Look at BD coming over, Bennett Davidson. He says, come on, Antoine, bring it to me. Look at a great block, great angle, gets the ball on its upward flight. There's the Juco star, led his team to the California Juco Championship as a, his freshman year. Averaged 13 points, 12 rebounds a game. And he heads for the bench. He's Jason Terry returns. Like the quickness of Arizona? Very quick team. We're looking, not a lot of big bodies. Muscular guys who are very quick. Zone defense. North Carolina. Dickerson knocks in a three. 21 against Kansas last year in the NCAA tournament. Kansas beat them and then got beaten in the final eight by Syracuse. 
North Carolina didn't make the Sweet 16 last year and knocked out by Texas Tech, who sent the message loud and clear, we were for real. Without question, Oak Elijah misses everything. Thought he was fouled as he went back to the floor. He got bumped on that shot. He's normally a very good shooter. Terry looks to drive, swings it back out. Dickerson to Bibby. Got to get in those gaps against that matchup. Harris turns around short with it. Harris has been one of their surprises during the early workouts. At 21-7 in an exhibition game. Coda into the lane, turns, and no good. Bibby had the rebound momentarily, but knocked off with his hands and out of bounds. North Carolina's had a good early recruiting. They signed Brendan Hayward, a big seven-footer, kid by the name of Burr Sticker, a 6'11 player, a Max Owens, an outstanding wing player. Life is going to hit you one day, and it's going to hit you hard, real hard. It's going to hit you in the gut. You've got to fight, and you've got to push back. Got to push back. If you push back, you know, it'll make you stronger and leaner. You got to resist. You just got to resist. There's nothing like it out there, man. Nothing with a resistance band. Pull it out, and it's harder. Push it in, it's easier. It keeps you doing crunches the right way. You can't cheat it. It fits my body. It fits everybody. Take it apart, leave it anywhere. You can really feel it work your abs, that's for sure. You'll make it. Keep on pushing it. The Proform Ab Resistor. For free information or a 30-day in-home trial, call the number on your screen now. ESPN asked me to say a few words about their ESPN Bud Light Big Monday promo, but since it ain't in my contract, I'll let the cat with the monster truck voice clue you in. Go to a participating Bud Light retailer and pick up an entry form and schedule. Select your weekly Big Monday winners. Mail them in. If you're the lucky bum whose entry is drawn and all your picks are correct, you win a free trip to the championship week game of your choice. Otherwise, you get a bunch of ESPN Bud Light merchandise. It ain't bingo, baby. Over on the Deuce, we update you on the NIC quarterfinal being played at Assembly Hall. A.J. Guyton having a good game. 14 points, 6 assists. It's Charlie Miller here. Indiana leads St. Louis. John. All right, Mike, thanks a lot. And uh, Indiana had a tough game against Princeton. Oh, I love A.J. Guyton. I love him, Mike Dorigo. I love A.J. Guyton. I think that's nice but dandy. You know what's amazing? A kid like A.J. Guyton, John, wasn't heavily recruited out of Peoria, Illinois. As we look here at the game summary, field goal percentage 47 versus 39. Rebounding right now. 10 and 14, Carolina with the edge there. Carolina with the edge on the scoreboard as well. Williams, Elijah, Coda swinging around. Carter almost cut before the ball got there. Nice little shot. I tell you, I just see a world of confidence in Vince Carter that I did not see last year. Nothing like PT playing time. Former drum major in high school. He's almost like you. He can play almost any instrument. <laughs> Do a lot of different things, right? Look at that multiple defenses. North Carolina switching defenses. Dickerson drives. Oh, nice play. Dump down. Davidson couldn't finish. Excellent play by Dickerson to get right into the seam of that defense. He must attack the seam. Look how steady this kid is. He looks like he's been playing college basketball for four years at Coda. Big battle and Mike Gibby holding up Vince Carter. That's what it really excites me about college basketball, John. I don't try to sit and cry about guys that aren't here. As we watch Vince Carter spinning and whirling, see guys like Carter come on the scene now big time. Ed Coda, Ed Coda. Get excited about the Codas, the Bibbies, the Jason Colliers, the A.J. Guyton. Forget those guys that don't want to be here that ran away. Davidson, well, they didn't quite ran away. They were called by the dollars. Oh, money? Money. <laughs> they, if you play, they will come. With that matchup defense right now by Arizona. Lute Olsen's run such a class program down in Arizona. We know about North Carolina. Coda pulls up. Awkward looking shot, but it still went down. He can make open shots. He was very impressive last year in the ABCD game. Bibby launches a three and 
buries it. That's why he scored 3,002 points in high school. Think about that number. If you can divide by four, I can't. I'm too dumb. That's over 750 points a year. Shimon Williams for three. Long with that. Think about that, John. 3,000 points in high school. First player in Arizona State history to do that. Bibby wants it. He missed Bibby. Nickerson. Harris throws it up off the glass. Out of bounds, Carolina. Okalaja on the floor for the ball. Bibby was wide open up at top. He wanted to reverse the basketball. As a look at Bibby, his dad, by the way, the only man ever to win a CBA championship, NCAA championship, and an NBA championship. Now at Southern Cal, where he's going to try to wheel some match. And coming into the game. Both guys are going to be solid, positive forces. Believe me, these two kids are legitimate. They are genuine diaper dandies. And Okalizer, very active on the floor, forces that turnover. Coda tries to take it all the way, and he's stuffed by Bibby. As the two freshmen go head to head. Bill Frieder really had all the accolades. I was speaking at a banquet in Phoenix recently, and Bill Frieder sung the praises of Mike Bibby, comparing him to Jason Kidd. But the difference is a very, very as we look at Bibby, look at him hustling back defensively. Now he's going to come up with a good block using the left hand. Jason Kidd had the great ability defensively to disrupt teams and take them out of their offensive tendencies. But this kid can pass the ball, and he's a better long-range shooter than Kidd. But Kidd was a tremendous physical specimen who can pass and defensively disrupt people. And Bibby will go to the bench as Gene Eggerson comes back in. Everson went to the same high school as Kerry Kittles down at St. Augustine down in New Orleans. It is now the New Jersey Nets. The Nets, that's John Calipari. We're in his state right here. I spoke about him last night to a fine writer from L.A., Mark Heisler, called me and asked him some questions about Calipari. And we're seeing some early battling here. And a nice job underneath by Donnell Harris to stick it in. They got to get some point reduction out of Harris and A.J. Bramley. You know, I mentioned in UCLA, as I mentioned earlier, you got to root for a guy like Lavin. I really hope the kid does well because he's a basketball lifer who puts his heart and soul into it. Anderson had the steal, and then it was tipped out of bounds by Carolina. I want to remind everybody, Sunday night NFL, Central Division leader Green Bay Packers trying to bounce back from Lost to Dallas. He'll face the St. Louis Rams. That's 8 o'clock Eastern time. The NFL on ESPN. It could be my guy, Emmett Smith. My guy, Emmett. He's Seven great, times in a row now. Great role model for youngsters. Terry dumps it in. Here spins and misses the jam. Anderson gets it. He's stopped. Blocked twice by Zwicker. And then we have a jump ball. Eggerson is a warrior. He's a very physical player. The size played a factor in here. Serge Swicker, who's been a guy that really has learned playing against big people. He's played against Rasheed Wallace every day, Eric Montross in his career, Kevin Salvadori. Tremendous block in Carolina by two. Every once in a while, there comes a stain. So incredible, so complex, so hideous. You may need extra help getting it out. Introducing Whisk Away Pre-Treat with Pentron, the tough stain-fighting formula that penetrates deep into stains fast. Don't risk it, whisk it. New Whisk Away Pre-Treat. What if you could take on a whole new image? Would you be more elegant? More dynamic. More comfortable. One of the world's best performing luxury cars has an almost entirely new identity. The new Q45 from Infinity. Everything changes but the soul. Taco Bell introduces fajita wraps, a different taste from a whole new place. Cut it up! Spice it up! Take your teeth at the Taco Bell fajita wraps. Marinated grilled steak or chicken and roasted fresh veggies, all wrapped up and ready to rumba. There's nothing ordinary 
Hey, Johnny, yes, we're going to show right now the versatility of Michael Bibby. Here he is, spotting up, going to shoot the open jump shot, knocks down the trifecta. That's why he averaged 34 a game in high school. But look at him hustle on the defensive end. He's going to say, hey, I can play defense just like Jason Kidd. There he is working hard defensively. He scored 1,132 points his senior year in high school in leading Shadow Mountain High School to the state championship in Phoenix. He's two for four from the three-point range. Well, he's headed to the bench with a couple of fouls. Jesse Evans told us before the game, the outstanding assistant coach, I don't understand why he doesn't have a head job yet because he's got a lot of talent. But Jesse said he's the best recruit we've ever brought into Arizona. Think about David Stoudemire, Sean Elliott, but they're basing it in high school. Now, whether he projects and becomes as good as Stoudemire and Elliott only time will tell. Lynn Reeves also on that. I'll tell you, I get to see David Stoudemire quite often. Oh, I love him. If he's as good as him, I love him. I think he's unbelievable. I love them in college. Look at that ball reversal. Oh, they missed Swicker inside. Should have thrown the lob to him. Eight on the shot clock. Oh, Elijah hangs. Misses everything. He's having a tough time really recognizing, making good judgment for the open shot. Terry goes up for that one, and then there's a block. Eckerson underneath going for the rebound. See, John, I really believe judgment is so important. Shot selection. A lot of guys are good shooters, but they're not able to. Look at him, he's yawning. Come on, you can't be that tired. Come on, Miles. Well, he just flew in today. He just came in today all the way from Arizona. Look, he's biting his nails. He's biting his nails. He wants to play. Look at Lou Olsen. Don't show him. I get jealous every time I see him. I see how dapper Danny is. Such a good-looking guy. His greatest statistic, it's not all those wins, Ludos' greatest statistic. 43 years married, 11 grandchildren. In today's day and age, he and Bobby are a great, great combination. Great couple. That's his best number, 43. 43 years married. I made 25, John. I was there to help you celebrate. Thank you. That's a big celebration. My wife belongs sainthood, as Bobby Knight said, to live with him. Oh, Carter follows his own mix. And then gets fouled trying to stick it back in. Vince Carter is really going to assert himself this year. He's going to become a special player. He's going to be a star this year. He's in triple threat position. He can drive, he can pass, or you can shoot the open jump shot. He's got those magical legs. Came in with that great reputation in high school. Howard Garfinkel, the guru of five-star camp, rated him very high. AJ Bramlett returns. Any kid that was a drum major in high school has to be great, great people. And Vince Carter was a drum major in high school to play the sax and the trumpet. Not to mention, to be a drum major, you have to be a terrific athlete. That's amazing. It is amazing what those kids can do. Terry now running the point. Dickerson. Down to the baseline, pulls up, no good. And Swicker gets the rebound. You know, Swicker not spectacular, but steady. Gets the maximum out of his ability. That's all you can ask any athlete, to get the most out of your potential. Oak Elijah launches a three, a little long. Oh, hey, he gets the bounce! He gets the bounce! I can't believe it! Wow! A shooter's bounce! That thing hit everything but the <laughs> shot clock. I was ready to say it was Brick City. I was ready to call that Brick City. Anderson Long. Oak Elijah. Mike Bibby coming back in as Carolina has opened up a six-point lead. What a free conference schedule they have at Arizona. They're going to play at New Mexico, one of the top 20 teams in America. They're going to play at Michigan. They have Texas. I mean, they got an incredible early start. Play the best. That's Lute Olsen's motto. Ramlett short. Suddenly, Arizona's gone cold underneath. And you talked about that at the start of the game. Is this, they needed to get some scoring from the front line. Yeah, they got to get some inside production. Oh, Carter with a sweet move, but can't get it to go. Terry now. Puts coat on the baseline and banks it in. He was a solid role player last year. He was a third guard. Gave him a lot of positive minutes. Came out of Seattle. Originally verbally committed to Bob Bender, who's doing a heck of a job in Washington. But then decided he wanted to be an Arizona Wildcat. Is that matchup zone? Elijah gets a hand on his hip as he drives. I want to remind everybody to stick around at halftime. Mike Tarika will be there with the Delta Fawcett halftime report. 
top 25 scores and highlights. Plus, we'll preview game number two tonight, Vanderbilt against Duke. I tell you, I was so impressed with Duke the other day. Rashawn McLeod looked outstanding. We talk about the recruiting class of Elton Brand, William Avery, Chris Burgess, and Shane Battier, a 3.9 student, Mr. Basketball from Michigan. And things look superb. Michael K is back, baby. Back, bigger than ever. Oh, you can't teach that size. And he didn't have the touch, so he had the size to get him, but he didn't have the touch. Dickerson. Harris, along with it. Oh, oh what a left-handed tip. Back in by Eckerson. Eckerson, a just He's tough kid, hard-nosed kid. Not to be known as Gene with a body like that. I call him anything he wants, anytime he wants. <laughs> Spreading the court against that matchup. See, they start Shaman up at the foul line, then he'll step out. So well coached, Dean Smith. He's been able to win in so many eras, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. He's beaten new coaches. He's beaten the rule changes. He's made adjustments in every era. He's just been magical at Chapel Hill. Shot clock is now off. It's a good with, first half, John. Very, very nice. good. Two-point game right now as Arizona will look to take a lead or a tie into the locker room. I know it's amazing. They're up two and they've been blanked by Antoine Jamison hasn't put any points on the board. Down to four as Dickerson knocks it in. He's got a scorer's mentality. That's a little mold going into the locker room. They did a great job defensively against Antoine Jamison. There's a blank job right now, but I wouldn't have to look. No rebounds either. AJ, he's too talented, too quick. Miles Simon sitting cheering the captain, cheering his teammates on. A good first half. We are tied at 29 apiece here at the Hall of Fame Tip-Off Classic. Right now, back to the studio and Mike Tirico. John and Dick, thank you. You have to be impressed with the youth of Arizona. Good game thus far, all tied with North Carolina. Good second half coming up after the Delta Fawcett halftime report. Scores and highlights a little bit later. We have two games from the NIT. And coming up, we'll check out how the first quarter finals go with Indiana taking on St. Louis at Assembly Hall. All that and some college football coaching news as well coming up. ESPN's presentation of NCAA Basketball is brought to you by Infinity, number one car line in consumer satisfaction, according to J.D. Power & Associates. Announcing the Adventure Discovered Sweepstakes. I've been shopping big time. It's all right here on my Discover Card statement. Use your Discover Card and you could win everything on Boyd Matson's statement. Patagonia. It's, it's me. me. Two tickets on American. My new Jeep. Plus, you'll join him on a National Geographic filming expedition. It's the grand prize in the Adventure Discovered Sweepstakes. Well, I've done my shopping. Have you? It pays to discover. Watch National Geographic Explorer on TBS. Can you believe what's possible these days? Conversations through your computer? Worlds of information, one click away. All the things you find only on the world's most popular internet online service, now more affordable than ever? It's like living in the future. A future now available on America Online. It'll be time to ho-ho-ho it before you know it. So Sears has the entire store on sale. Shop Sears this Saturday and take an extra 10% off all sale prices and 10% off all regular prices. One day only. And don't miss this. The Michael Jordan Golf Company is teaming up with Sears. Register to win a trip for four to meet Michael Jordan. So get to Sears this Saturday while the entire store is on sale. Or you'll miss out on a ho-ho-ho lot. At the half, the sure fine tip-off classic, North Carolina. It's Carter, all tied with Arizona at 29 apiece. Welcome back to the Hoop Garage for the Delta Fawcett Halftime Report. We have some news from college football first before we get to this first big night of college basketball scores and highlights. Every indication out of Notre Dame starting to lean toward Bob Davey, going to be the defensive coordinator, may be named to replace Lou Holtz as the head coach at Notre Dame as soon as tomorrow. Notre Dame has their final home game tomorrow. News from Purdue in the state of Indiana. Wyoming coach Joe Tiller will replace Jim Coletto as the head coach of the Boilermakers in football. 
This basketball note, Colorado's star guard Chauncey Billups going to miss the first three games of the season, part of his NCAA suspension for misuse of a phone credit card number. Now let's get to the highlights, starting with the NIT quarterfinals. The first one in Assembly Hall, Bob Knight in Indiana taking on St. Louis. Indiana control, Andre Patterson. The emphatic jam early. The Billikens down an 11-0 run early. Now Patterson, offensive rebound, aggressive in the strong stick. Indiana also moving it as well, and they've taken a 16-point lead, 66-50, over St. Louis in the second half. Just the early going in the other NIT quarterfinal between Iona and Evansville. The winner will likely play Indiana in New York. A reminder, our NIT coverage continues right after our first game up in Springfield. Vanderbilt takes on Duke and then Oklahoma State Tulsa after Sports Center at midnight Eastern. More highlights. Let's start with the debut of Billy Ball. New Florida coach Billy Donovan taking on Central Florida at home. Greg Williams. The steal, freshman Kenyon Weeks with a slam. More pressure. You're going to see this. This is Patino-style basketball. And Donovan, of course, a disciple of Patino system. 17-2 run. A lot of it keyed off the pressure. And more Kenyon Weeks. A name we should get to know. The freshman. 18 in the first half in Florida. To the locker room on Central Florida with a big lead. The advantage at the break. 54 to 38 right now. Let's check the Arkansas situation. Arkansas opening up against Jackson State. Kareem Reed to Pat Bradley. Good sophomores who uh, got a lot of experience last year. Bradley at seven of Arkansas's first 10 points in that one. Right now, Arkansas has a 15-9 lead on Jackson State. This opening night for many college basketball teams as they have a sellout crowd on hand in Fayetteville. Iowa, Western Illinois, they're gonna get ready to start their game in a little while. Iowa is the top 25, of course. 4-0 in this series has been dominated by Iowa. We'll have more when we continue at halftime after this. Isn't it just like Delta? Let's make it really cool. To design a faucet <laughs> that's at both the height of style wow. awesome. and practicality. Delta, the way water is brought to life. What if you could take on a whole new image? Would you be more elegant? More dynamic. More comfortable. One of the world's best performing luxury cars has an almost entirely new identity. The new Q45 from Infinity. Everything changes but the soul. It has a lubricating comfort strip. And for a lot of guys, that's not much comfort. Introducing the Norelco Reflex Action Razor. A great shave with less irritation than blades. It's back. The Goodyear Buy 3, Get 1 Free Sale. Right now, buy three selected Goodyear tires at regular price. And the fourth tire is free. So call 1-800-GOODYEAR today and get on the line with your local retailer. Introducing the Taste Tations, the first hard candy from Hershey. We're the Taste We're the Taste Tations. We're the The first hard candy from Hershey. This halftime report is presented by Delta Faucet and your dependable Delta plumbing professional. Together, they're the way water is brought to life. 29-29 at halftime between North Carolina and Arizona in the Surefine Tip-Off Classic. We mentioned the NIT quarterfinals. Indiana has just closed out St. Louis by the count of 70-54. to Coming up after our first game on ESPN, Duke is back in action, taking on Vanderbilt. For a preview, let's take you down to Cameron Indoor Stadium. Bob Carpenter and Len Elmore. Bob. Thanks, Mike. And Wednesday night here, Trajan Langdon had a wonderful return to the Duke lineup. Six out of seven from three-point range. And Len, with him back, 
and Ricky Price healthy. This is one of the deepest teams in the country now. Absolutely. And the other night, they physically wore St. Joe's down with seven players playing 20 or more productive minutes. What they did was force turnovers and force situations where St. Joe's had to foul. Now, the keys to this depth are the newcomers, Rashawn McLeod, Mike Chappelle, and certainly the return of Trajan Langdon. So really in the ACC, two of the deepest teams in the country with Duke here. Last Friday night, you saw Clemson knocking off Kentucky with nine guys who can play 20 minutes if they have to. So, Mike, it was an undersized St. Joe's team here on Wednesday, but some big Commodores from Vanderbilt are visiting Cameron tonight. Should be a good matchup with Vandy and Duke. Okay, guys, we'll see you after we're done up in Springfield, Massachusetts. And Bob mentioned the depth of Duke. They're only going to get deeper. According to Basketball Times, this is where the top 12 players are going. After the early signing period is done, you see some undecided players still have to make their final decisions, but two key signings for Duke and Elton Brand, who is committed to Duke but has not had his signed letter of intent get in. A lot of big names going in. Big sure. No dogs, no stoplights, no rain. Just getting fit, staying fit, losing the fat. Yeah, you can get fit with this. Into running, walking, you will reach your goal. You cannot stop. This is why. Keeps you moving. Call it motivation. Want it higher, harder, steeper? You will get there. You won't pound your knees, your ankles, your joints. Huh? This tells you where you are, how far you'll go, and what you're paying. So when you get there, it gets out of your way. Space Saver Thin Line from Proform. Hey, this isn't much. This is smart. The new Proform Space Saver Treadmill. More compact than ever. Call for a 30-day in-home trial. like launch can connect to your internet link so you can email bands you've just seen playing the intel pentium processor it jams we mentioned this is opening night some scores buffalo giving miami a tough game tulane tied with ut arlington just underway k-state missouri kc texas tech at home in municipal coliseum leading southern miss early Northwestern tied in the early going in Baylor has a four-point road lead in the top of the world classic being played in Alaska. A baseball note for you, Bobby Bonilla has signed a contract with the Florida Marlins. So he's back in the National League East and reunited with Jimmy Leland. Bonilla still making $5 million a year signing a contract with Florida today. Let's get you updated on other professional sports. NBA action tonight. The Boston Celtics at home taking on the Seattle Sonics. What do they do best? They run. Gary Payton in transition. Gets away from Day, trying to take it away. The lob for Detlef, who gets up and throws it down. The Sonics rolling at the break, leading by 17. Sean Kemp scored 15 in the first half. Rick Fox, 11. The Sonic story, the Bonilla story, highlights from the mall of the Penguins Whalers come up on SportsCenter after the Duke game with Linda Cohen and Carl Ravage. Second half, we'll send you back to John Saunders and Dick Vitale in Springfield after this. The gentle whisper of a saxophone. The warm glow from a fine wine. The light from a Sylvania Halogen 60-watt inner tungsten glass capsule A-line bulb. Just call us hopeless romantics. Sylvania. Brilliant light. Sometimes you really need a Polaroid one-step camera. And now you can get one for under 25 bucks. Oh, dear. Come and take a trip in my rocket ship. We'll have a lovely afternoon. Kiss the world goodbye. And away we'll fly. Ooh. Destination moon. We'll travel fast as a light till we're out of sight. The Earth will be like a toy balloon. What a thrill you'll get riding on my jet, a destination moon.
I've seen every card there is. Thousands of cards. Super 8's VIP card. It says, congratulations, your reservation is guaranteed, and you get 10% off. <laughs> Life's great at Super 8. Announcing the Adventure Discovered Sweepstakes. I've been shopping big time. It's all right here on my Discover Card statement. Use your Discover Card and you could win everything on Boyd Matson's statement. Patagonia. It's me. Two tickets on American. My new Jeep. Plus you'll join him on... A National Geographic filming expedition. It's the grand prize in the Adventure Discovered Sweepstakes. Well, I've done my shopping. Have you? It pays to discover. Watch National Geographic Explorer on TBS. ESPN's presentation of NCAA Basketball is brought to you by Surefine and your local Surefine retailer. And by Plymouth. One clever idea after another. That's Plymouth. Welcome back once again to the Springfield Civic Center, the Surefine Hall of Fame tip-off classic. And it has been a classic thus far because after the first half, we are tied at 29 apiece. John Saunders and Dick Vitale. The big story, though, and you talked about this before the game, is that Arizona needed front court scoring. They've done a better job than the Tar Heels. Well, they got 21 points from their front court, but I also thought a great job defensively to game plan. They shut out Jamison and Swicker. Those two guys got the blank in the first half. We take a look at Antoine Jamison, who had averaged 16 a game last year. Look at the awareness. Eggerson, the diaper dandy, beats him to a spot. And watch him how they converge. Everywhere he is, number 33, they got a hand on him. They got a feel for him. They anticipate really well where he is. Deflections. They're very aggressive. I mean, he gets really contacted here. That's Holofield and Tyson inside. I mean, there's a lot of contact. Jameson says, wow. Look at the stats here. Only six turnovers for Arizona. And that's been a problem for North Carolina the last three or four years. Not forcing turnovers. Front court, as you said, John. Edge went to Arizona. As Michael Dickerson had 12 points to lead all scores in a tie with the freshman Ed Cota, the backcourt actually of North Carolina is what's carrying them thus far. I was really impressed with the poise of Ed Cota, but he's not your typical freshman as you look at Antoine Jamison. Jamison has to come up big here in the second half. 15 won a game last year, 9.7 rebounds a game, 62% shooter. Look at him right here. He's got Zippo. Hey, John, there's no way you would have convinced me that he would have played this half and got Zippo, but he's a great kid with a tough attitude. His dad, Albert, really helped him in his progress. Cleaned out his backyard as a youngster, put a hoop up, and really got his son directed in a right way. Great family. And he's been talked about the family today. Dickerson with the first shot of the second half, and he gives the Rockets the lead. He has 14 now. He's got the license to score, was prolific in high school, has got an excellent first step. They're playing that matchup zone right now, really doing a great job. Force him to shoot some perimeter jumpers, trying to take the inside away. Localized no good. But Carter from the other side cleans it up. We talk about athletic, we mean great bounce, good lateral quickness, and Carter has that. Ten points now for Carter. Bibby thinks about the shot. People are going to see the real Vince Carter this year. Terry Strip gets it back. Harris rattles, rolls around, and goes down. You know, they had their scrimmage, the red and white scrimmage. He went for 25 points and 25 rebounds. Not a bad effort. Those games are misleading, though. Those stats can be really misleading. But he's been a real surprise for Arizona in their early workout. They're playing that matchup really well for this time of the year. Down on the baseline. Oh, Kalijah, though, walks with it. North Carolina at ACC this year. What a tough league. You've got seven teams legitimately who can really challenge for the championship. We saw Clemson open night. Opening night there for real beating Kentucky. And I think Virginia's going to be better than a lot of people believe with Staples and Dean and Courtney Alexander and Willie Dersh, a freshman. Virginia will always play solid defense. Dickerson, Okalaja out on him. 2-3 right now playing matchup. Bramlett, a little jump yeah. hook in the lane. Bramlett doing really a nice job inside along with Harris. They're playing the two big guys together. Last year, Bramlett played about 11 minutes a game. First two of the game. Jamison still looking for his first point. 
Bibby for three. Oh, he's got a velvet tuck. He's got a velvet tuck. Squares the body under control. Very smooth. Silky smooth. I really like these two freshmen, Bibby and Coda. 9-2 run to start the second half for Arizona. How could you not like both of them? Nice look inside. Jamison, no good. And Pope Elijah on the other side. He's pressing right now. Antoine Jamison is really pressing to get his first pass. Look at Bibby. Get it to me. Get it to me. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, he's a freshman going after each other. Then the, finally, the turnover is forced by the Tar Heels. Coda with a little bounce pass for Shimon Williams. So good tip back up again by Jamison, and it won't go. That's where he used to score last year, and he will this year. And the offensive blast. He's got that quick, quick hop. Dickerson knocks in a three, and Dean. Get a 20 second. Get a 20 second, Dino. Get a 20 second. They're rocking. They're celebrating down in Tucson, and they're going to celebrate tomorrow when they beat Arizona State in football. It's over for Mr. Plummer and company. They're not going to win in Tucson. The snake is going to lose. They're going to get it out tomorrow. Bye-bye, Arizona State. Arizona State, unbeaten, untied. Check the record out, though. Check their record out down in Tucson in football, John. Well, without question, Arizona's held the edge over Arizona State over the last several years. And the Golden Domers are going to hire Bob Davey. I think that is Lock City, the assistant coach. Dickerson really warming up. I want to talk football. I want to be a football analyst and work with you. Come to New York with me tomorrow. I want to work with you. Look at Dickerson. He says, come on, reverse me the ball. I can make open J's. Look at him. Look at him. And the bench says, that's going down. That's nylon time. There's a look at Dickerson. Federal Way High School, Seattle. Also produced a guy that played for Notre Dame, a wide receiver, Lake Dawson. And also... Donnie Marshall. Pretty good basketball player, I was going to say, for UConn, Donnie Marshall. The Carolina, Jamon Williams launches and finally gets some rhythm back in the Carolina offense. He has nine points now. He can make that open shot. He was heavily recruited in high school. Played out in South Carolina with Merle Cole, now at Clemson, and then followed him to Fort Union Military Academy in Virginia. Underneath, Swicker gets up with another block. Followed nicely by A.J. Bramlett. Bramlett from out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. A kid that gave him about 11 solid minutes. Luke's got to be very happy with the play of his inside, inexperienced people. Got a lot of size in there, John, at 6'11 with those two kids. Harris and Bramlett. Well, you think that Arizona had 29 points in the first half. They already have 14 points in less than four minutes here in the second half. I think you get tougher and tougher by playing good competition, and that's why Arizona will be a real legitimate threat again in a Pac-10 with UCLA and Stanford with Brevin Knight and Tim Young. Mike Montgomery does a heck of a job down at Stanford. Look at him, front court scoring. Three to one ratio here. And I'm a dummy mathematically, and I can see that three to one. That's very quick, you like to calculate. <laughs> man to man defense down. Man to man defense. They're going to slide Jameson in post against the man-to-man. -man. Get him a ball. He's got to score. they got to get him a deuce. Coda into the lane. A little floater won't go. Bramlett up there with the rebound. Oh, nice diagonal pass. Nice diagonal pass. Davis did a nice job to go up, and Shimon Williams had a lock on him, and he still was able to get the rebound. Donnie Cal with the ball. One of the good officials from out of the Big East. His first personal foul, second foul. And he's got a timeout on the floor. The Tar Heels need to talk about this thing. They trail by nine very quickly here in the second half. Regis Philbin on Earth Grains Bagels.
pizza. I didn't order a pizza. You didn't order a pizzeria stuffed crust pizza? Sure didn't. Bake fresh every day. Not too thick, not too thin. Just like pizzeria pizza. Mmm, tasty sauce. And bring the cheese that's baked into the crust. It's just $8.99 for a large, but... Oh, yeah, that's, that's ours. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Discover Pizzeria Stuffed Crust Pizza. Hi, got your pizza? What pizza? 43 34 is our score with just over four minutes gone here in the second half. We want to remind everyone college football on Saturday. Steve Sarkeesian as BYU looks to knock off Utah. Winner will face Wyoming in the WAC championship game, and Auburn and Alabama trying to move on to face Florida in the FCC championship game. Of course, the residents in college football scoreboard throughout the day. They really get good spacing, Arizona. Really move the basketball. Up with a three. That's a 17 5 run to start this half. I'll tell you one thing, John. That kid is for real, Mr. Bibby. There's no doubt about it. He can make open shots. He can pass the ball. Very unselfish. They're trying to really match it up well out of that defense. Bibby reaches in and gets nailed with the foul. It's like a combination defense of zone, man-to-man. -man. They're really rotating well out of it, communicating with each other. There's a look at Bramlett. Averaged 8.7 minutes in 10 minutes last year. Had 10 points against Washington State as we look at the second half. Wow, the second half, Arizona on fire. Seven for nine. Front four points. Almost three to one. This could be his first point of the day. Let's be quiet. Not much this is his first point. Hey, comes up there to Elijah will come back in for Serge Swicker. For North, for North Carolina to win here, they're going to need a little explosion out of Jamison. They can't win without Jamison. Swicker has not scored, had a knee problem earlier in the week, and there was some doubt whether he would play today. There's his first point, and it will not be his last. Take that to the bank. Comes almost 25 minutes into the game. Bramlett on the blocks with a mismatch on Coda and still can't finish. Arizona's doing a great job making the five-on-five -five game, not allowing North Carolina to get numbers in transition. Jameson, hey, three times is the charm. There's the real Antoine Jameson. A.J. up on the glass. He's got that quick first step. One of only five freshmen to make the All-ACC team. There's Mr. Bibby. Can you understand why he scored 3,002 points in high school? I mean, he squares his body exceptionally well. He's got great rotation on his shot. It's Carter, a little long up. Elijah goes for the rebound and does come away with it. Jamon Williams dumps it down to Carter, who skies, can't convert it. Oh, a nice little dish. The carry oh, off the glass, no good. And then Ramlett, I believe, gets hit with the foul, or might be Dickerson. You know, we hear about some of these kids coming in out of high school. Some are a little bit overrated, but this kid is not overrated. As we watch right now, Jameson with the tip one time, then he goes to the left. He goes right, left. He's like that Spalding bull. He bounces off the floor. He's the yo-yo man. He's up, up, and up. He's got three tonight. Give him three. He doesn't have two. He's got three. Did hit one of the two free throws. Even I could figure that out. One free throw and two. Yeah, he field goals. He's obviously been studying math since our last sight. Uh, they're losing Shaman up on top as a passer against that matchup. So he's stepping right in the gap, playing a little guy to get an extra ball handler. And Elijah puts it down on the floor, nearly loses it. Carter will not go down. I said Shaman, I meant Dakota. Bad pass. Terry tried to get it over to Bennett Davison. Arizona 26 and 7 last year, 13 and 5 in the conference. I beat by Kansas in the Sweet 16. Miles Simon will give him a lot of point production once he gets the academic situation clear. Lob again. That's the second time they tried to hit Carter with that and thrown it a little bit too hot. Yeah, trying to throw that diagonal lob. Worked beautifully today at practice, but nobody was defending it. That's right. Dickerson pulls up on the baseline and won't go. Look at this. Bodies up in the air. Eggerson finally puts it home. I'm really impressed with Eggerson, Bramlett, and Donnell Harris. 
they're going to be really contributors to that inside. And if they ever get Steven Jackson, who's in Port Arthur now from Oak Hill Academy, taking a test, the SATs and the ACTs, if he gets the right score, he could be eligible the end of December. Davidson stripped by Ed Cota. It'll still belong to Arizona. Steven Jackson was a big-time recruit out of Oak Hill, and he's trying to get the necessary scores to be eligible. He had committed to Arizona when they had one of the top five recruiting classes in America. Take a rest now, Mr. Dickerson. You deserve it. Say with 17 points. It's still 13 minutes to go in the game. Bibby has returned. He handles the inbound. Has Bibby lived up to expectations, John? Oh, without question. He told us he was nervous. It does not look like he's nervous at all. Well, that's a sign of a lot of great players get that anxiety attack. Oh, wait a second. Sife said you got nervous before game. I do. I get nervous every time before I speak or whatever. I get that excitement. When that leaves me, that's time to get out of the business. Okay. So I just wanted to clarify that you're saying you are great. Oh, no. <laughs> Bibby off the mark there. And the Tar Heels trying to carve into a 13-point deficit. We have a foul on Edgerson underneath, battling with Jameson. I'll tell you one thing, Lute Olsen and his staff, Jim Rosborough, Phil Johnson, and Jesse Evans, have done a great job studying film and done an amazing job in building a solid defensive game plan for this game. A trip down to play at the pit, one of the great places. It's not going to be easy down in New Mexico with Kenny Thomas. Dave Bliss has got a heck of a club. Oak Elijah. Oh, tough little runner. Oak Elijah has got to start giving him some point production. And Swicker as well. Can't just be relying on a perimeter game. Shot a little long. Shimon Williams bounces it off Ed Coda with the first dribble. Terry steals it back. Three on one. Terry takes it to the glass. Here's Quint. There he is, taking a run, coast to coast. Jason Terry, JT, not getting a lot of notoriety or publicity with the reputation of Bibby, but he'll be very productive. On the baseline, Jameson converts, and he'll go to the line. Got that quick release on Juan Jameson. Very quick release in that little jump shot. Watch number 33. Watch the quick release. They spotted the basketball. I mean, he doesn't hesitate. He gets it off really quick. Struggle last year at the free throw line. It's time to return for the heel. Shot 52% last year on a free throw line. Cold diaper dandy of the year with Stephon Marbury. Think about it, John. Like, could have been, should have been our heel team if they all stayed in school. Think about a possible starting lineup. I'll let you guys know about it. Yeah. Terry takes it in and gets it back. And then he's blocked by Ed Cota. Jameson to Cota. Bibby steps up on him. Oh, a little shake and bake. Jameson trying to show his range. Carter goes up. Wicker has it. And he banks it in. They got to get Wicker a little involved offensively. Jameson rushing his shot. He's not a long range three point shooter. Bruce Wicker, his first two points of the game. And he's right away, Michael Dickerson comes back. They are going to be so explosive on the wings with Simon Dickerson and Bibby. Jameson beats everyone down the floor. Looks a little tired right here. They have to play a lot of minutes. They only got a seven-man rotation. Ball is kicked. They've got a fresh 35-second clock. Edgerson returns for Arizona, and Shimon Williams comes back in. See, Jameson a little tired, goes out of the ball game. It's a 10-point lead. Still 10-plus to go here in Springfield. Stick around. Every once in a while, there comes a stain so incredible, so complex, so hideous. You may need extra help getting it out. Introducing Whisk Away Pre-Treat with Penetron, the tough stain-fighting formula that penetrates deep into stains fast. Don't risk it, whisk it. New Whisk Away Pre-Treat. That isn't the last one, is it? <laughs> yeah, why? Did I mention that I found the negatives from your bachelor party? 
it is. Shame if Carla found out about that whole Niagara thing. Can you say cubic zirconia? For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. From service. The clever idea people from Plymouth are at it again with another clever idea. Plymouth Voyager Plus. What's the plus? $1,250 of package values at no extra charge. Like air conditioning, seven passenger seating, and a whole lot more for this great price. Now that's a big plus. Plymouth Voyager Plus. At your Plymouth dealer. Aren't they clever? 55-45, Arizona has the lead, and they're doing it without the man who has his head in his chin, Miles Simon, still awaiting some academic problems to go away before he can return to the lineup. Imagine if they were able to have Miles Simon in their lineup tonight. Well, you know, Miles led him last year. He's a returning leading scorer, rebounder, steals, every part of the game. Could have been, should have been. They could be singing that chant down at Chapel Hill. Look at this here. If they have McGinnis State in school, Carter, Stackhouse, Wallace, and Jamison. That's frightening. What a starting five that could have been. If they all remained in school, they'd be hanging a banner down at Chapel Hill. Can you imagine their bench with guys like Swicker and guys like Ed Coda? Shaman Williams coming off the bench. Stackhouse and Wallace, what a job they're doing in the NBA. Yeah, there's a lot of coaches around. And the NCAA singing what if what it could have been well Joe bit. Smith down in Maryland Bibby Dickerson again he's just got the range going tonight another three and Dickerson now is 23 passing accuracy and passing judgment Bibby made the routine pass but he got it to Dickerson at the right time little nice two-man game from Bibby over to Dickerson look at Dickerson now he's going to spot up he spots up spreads the court they get good spacing excellent ball reversal and that bench erupts Dickerson said me I want playing time I want to stay on the floor coach coach give me some PT look at Dickerson tonight 23 points was a good time scorer in high school. Five for eight from three-point range tonight as well. Averaged 19 points a game in the three NCAA games last year. Averaged 11.9 a game for the season last year. Played 23 minutes a game. Shot 43% from field goal range. Uh, makes the second. See, North Carolina is not creating anything with their defense, Scott. They're not creating any turnovers. I mean, you got to match up on him. But they haven't recognized the Jimmy can shoot. Look at the steal. He He'll comes up in alone. And he gets the little layup. Jamison with the bad pass. Good anticipation by Bibby. Let's go freshman. That's a winner. That's a winner. Double team on Oak Elijah. Spots Carter, who goes in. Nice drive by Carter. Mitch Carter really looks impressive tonight. They really run the ball up and transition up that sideline, Arizona. Maybe really understands how to play the game. Nice Harris. pass right there. People think that's a routine pass. There weren't many guys that could feed the post. The best I've seen feed the post in college was the Pearl when Pearl Washington played at Syracuse. Great story. He's back at Syracuse. Just a great story now. Pearl going to get his degree. There's the bounce pass. See the routine bounce pass to the baseline side. The perfect entry. Harris makes the good move. Now he's got to go to free throw line for conversion. It's just great to be up here in Springfield, the Hall of Fame. Joel Bryan does a great job. They're breaking ground for a $100 million complex. Ed Billet, the head of the Rules Committee from Springfield College, and Robin Deutsch have treated us just super up here. Robin is an outstanding guy in their public relations office. Uh, okay, Brown, back in. I was a little disappointed not to see your name on the ballot for the Hall of Famers. Uh-oh, John Thompson's on that ballot, and he belongs in. He really does. Dean Smith and I were talking about it today. Uh, John, with the job he's done at Georgetown when he took that program over, coached an Olympic team, won a national title. If I were voting, John, you got my vote. <laughs> a little lobbying here in Springfield. 
Shot clock is down to 10. Shimon Williams dumps it in for Coda. Cannot get the handle. Dickerson pulls it out. Playing with a lot of confidence, Arizona. Terry Long with the three-point attempt. The one thing about Arizona over the years that's always impressed me, John, is their effort. The way they play in terms of energy, effort, and enthusiasm. They really play with a lot of excitement. Need a four E's. Look at Luke. He's got to feel good right now. 63 years of age. Looks about 35. Another miss. This time by Harris. Or Davison, rather. Contact away from the basketball. Bennett Davison gets whistled for a foul. Bennett, a Juco player, they feel once they get involved, learns the system. It's going to be a positive force. He's an inside outside player. Carolina's had to work hard for every basket, not getting any easy layups. Then he just dribbled the ball off his foot and went right to Dickerson and handed it back. See, if you break down forcing turnovers, North Carolina over the last four years has not really forced the turnover. Not spotting up, not finding the open man defensively, and then making a pay. Dickerson with that wide open trifecta. 26 points now for Dickerson. Jameson, both Elijah with the rebound, pulls it back out. North Carolina only forced 11 turnovers a game last year. The year they won the national title in 1993, they forced 18 turnovers a game. You force 11 turnovers only a game, teams are getting great looks. As you look here, look at the numbers right here. As they keep coming, 96, 95, 94 to 93, and it went up to 18 turnovers a game, and they won the NCAA. That gives you opportunities offensively, so forcing a turnover and then creating the opportunity offensively is really big. James takes the entry pass. And I thought he got fouled there. I thought he got bumped. Definitely. Edgerson off. That'll be an offensive foul. He lowered the boom going to the hole. You take a look at only eight turnovers today for Arizona. So that follows the pattern of last year where their defense, North Carolina, the trend that we see now is that North Carolina is unable to force the turnovers, and especially with a young backcourt. You know, no Geary back there, no Simon. You thought they could have gotten him a little rattle. Carter Dallas scored that and counted. Goaltending. Will Bush with the call. Good call. Definitely goaltending. He's got another timeout on the floor. Dean Smith and crew down by 15 with under eight. Wow. Wow. <laughs> fun it's a rush that's what aggressive sports are all about i tried to do it like the exact same way i would do it on skates and it worked i used all my skating tricks like my grabs and my jump it could turn into a huge sport you can sled dog in the winter and skate in the summer you've seen them in the stores you've seen them on tv now why not see if you can stick your feet in them as well if you know your shoe size you know your sled dog size if you haven't tried a snow skating, you haven't got a snowball's a chance in hell of making it past your 40th birthday. Call now for this free information pack that includes these free sled dog stickers. Call now, it's free. That's right, free. F R E E free. You know, be a really good uh, anchor would be that MacGyver guy. You know, he'd be a good anchor. That guy that was on T.J. Hooker, uh, dance fever guy, is pretty good. The champion cats, the number one contender, and everybody's All-American, look to make an early season statement in Chicago. The Direct TV Grade 8. Coverage begins Tuesday, December 3rd, only on ESPN. Arizona 10 of 20 from three-point range. 
and that is the major reason they have a 15-point lead over the North Carolina Tar Heels. Well, you make those three-point shots, John, it really creates a nightmare for the defense. We're going to watch them in their system. The ball's going to go to the interior. Freeze it. Freeze it. See right now? Look at Wicker. Look at the ball staring at the ball. Coda, Shaman Williams, and Dickinson waving his hands to zigzag it to me. Kick it out. Reverse it. He reverses it, and then he finalizes and converts. Excellent mid play. Go to the gut of the defense and bring it out to the weak side. He'll be ahead of the pack. Harris calling for the ball and finally gets it. Double team comes and forces up a bad shot. Jamal Williams got to start looking for some threes. Oak Elijah for three. Dickerson very strong physically. A great hand as well. Okalaja matched with him right now. Uses the screen really well. That's a key for a shooter. How to use the screen. Oh. Jameson. Looked like he had a block there with his forearm, not his hand. He got up so quickly. South Carolina in the 90s has averaged 27.1 wins a year. That's an amazing number. When I think of all his 20-game win seasons, 26 in a row, I remember the first time I had a 20-game win season. I thought it was the greatest thrill in the world. This guy's... Hey, John, think about it. 35 years, 851 wins. I mean, that's just incredible. You divide 35 into 851. I mean, this guy's winning 20 on a regular basis and better. Dean Smith and Lux. He said, I will not get out of the game until I don't feel that excitement. Jump ball. That's a lot of nights, Dick, going home happy. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. What about my guy Bill Fitch with a 1,000 losses? But I'll tell you about this, about Bill Fitch. Those teams that he's coached, he's never had to break great talent. And people forget he's won 900 games. And if you could sustain those number of years and endure what he's endured, that's a special guy. So Bill Fitch, I hope people don't make a big mockery of the losses because that guy's done a solid job in the NBA. Stay around for a long time in the NBA. You're going to have a lot of losses. Gene Shu is another guy who's especially playing losses, especially coaching the teams that he's played. Coach. Les Janis is number 33. Look at the awareness. They're alerted. There's Harris trying to beat him for this punch. I mean, he's bouncing him. He's bugging him. He's holding him. I mean, you got to make the call. Yes, Johnny Cal. Make the call. He's a quick leaper, Jamison. Last year, he had 20 rebounds versus Virginia. His dad built a 12-foot hoop in a backyard, and he videotaped all his games in school. His dad really played a great role in his development as a person, and so did his mom. Dean Smith said, what a great family. Arizona now trying to build onto a 15-point lead. Dickerson, see shot selection, so important. Play with some poise. Dickerson hangs him. He's just showing the whole repertoire tonight. Well, you know, Lou Dolson told me earlier in the week, just a big-time scorer, potentially, and you're seeing it tonight. He's picking up the load with his buddy Simon sitting, cheering on. You know, Miles paid his own way to fly out here, John, to be part of the team. He's a captain, and he wanted to be here. Coder doesn't get the ball. Underneath the tremendous job by Vince Carter. Vince Carter showing some stardom here, showing why he was rated so high coming out of high school. Look at Dickerson right now. Somebody's got to get alerted and understand this guy's scoring a lot of points. They're not communicating well out of their matchup. Now he's going to get right into the gut of the defense. Right in the foul line area. Squares his body. There's the rotation. Big, big night. He'll be a big man on campus. He can't wait to get there for the football game. Walk around, strut around the campus if they get the W, put the chest out and say, hey, I'm BMOC, I'm big man on campus. Just like Mike Tirico is now for Syracuse. He's up there with the Giants. He got a Rudy the Hall of Fame, isn't he? I know you've had so many Rudy awards, but he got a Rudy. I got him all on my shelf. Oh, there's Bimmy with the drive. As he lived up to his billing tonight, this is quite a coming out party for Mike Bibby. Oh, going up. Elijah fakes the pass. Shot won't go. Jameson almost has the rebound. Comes right to Elijah, who knocks it down after a nice jump step. As one of the three Musketeers, the three Musketeers, Carter, Jameson, and Oak Elijah. They said, we're buddies. We have bonded together, the three Super Souths. 
and those three softs better get it going in a hurry with 5.41 to go. Trailing by 14, Okalaja trying to convert. Adamola, there you are, working on the glass. Get that good angle. I hear they're working on the inside. Kiss it off the glass. Got to go to some full court pressure. They're going to have a tough time pressing Jason Carey. Oh, they just stripped him of the ball. Jason! Jenska. Oh, 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 Incomparable! Invincible! And that could be an extra ball! That could be a big, big boost! Yes, sir! Maybe give him the left! I mean, that's a high rise, Jake City! Up, up, and away! The elevator man! Hello! Holland Troops, you gotta love it! Watch Coda now! Coda with the great vision! He spots this man! Look at his eyes! He's looking up! He's up, we'll flip this baby up. Go get it, go get it, go get it. Look at Mr. Carter. He's a drum major. Play the saxophone, play the trumpet. Do it all, VC. Vincent Carter. Unfortunately, it only counts for two. <laughs> Maybe not, though, when it fires up the bench and the rest of the team. Look at the bench doing the Macarena. Is that the Macarena? <laughs> Look at him do a little dance. And then again, trying to deny the inbounds pass. Full court pressure, gonna go to the trap. Deflection. That'll be a foul on Dickerson. Yes, sir. No, they're going to call it the other way. Ooh, they got it the other got way. It the other way, which is surprising. They're going to try to throw the diagonal pass. Let's see the contact. That's incidental contact. No call here. I don't believe you should make a call there. I don't believe you should make a call there. And let it go, but. Certainly didn't look like it was a foul on the heel. Patience now and poise, very important. Offensive foul down underneath. Bennett Davison trying to clear out his man. Rudolph's not happy with that call. Not happy with that call. Way away from the action. We're going to watch Davison and Davison. There they are. They're emphasizing that this year. They get it on Davidson, trying to utilize what they call the swim stroke. See, I think North Carolina, with this club right here, would swim around a sideline, John, has the quickness that can go out and trap the pressure and force some turnovers. Swicker is a great size and experience, but doesn't have the foot speed to go into an up-tempo game that they'd like to get into right now since they're behind. Carolina already well over the limit. Or rather, uh, Arizona well over the limit. The Tar Heels will shoot the double bonus the rest of the way. Got 62%, led the conference in field goal percentage, only shooting 33% tonight. Antoine Jameson. They're going to come after Bibby. Excellent ball handler. Excellent free throw shooter. Nice pass. What a great uh, look. Davis, a nice short burst. <laughs> <laughs> knockout is <laughs> Jameson tried to get away with one stuck his hand up through the hoop yeah cannot do that but well, you know what that's created by the passing ability of Michael Bibby those front court people are going to love playing with it nice save by Antoine Jameson Blamble gets the rebound and there's a foul underneath Bradlett really has earned some positive minutes tonight Work hard defensively inside, very active. That's just six on Carolina, so the next one will send Arizona into the bonus. Goes to a 2-2-1 two, 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 press right now, North Carolina going to both of the defenses. Gonna swing the ball away from the trap to the reverse side. There's the high hand. Dickerson buries another three. He's on fire. Somebody call the fire chief. Put out the fire. Call the fire chief. He's on fire. He's burning the nuts down. 31 now. Carter drives baseline. Nice little drive in a reverse. He's going to be my RD man this year. The Razzle Dazzle man. He's going to be your Razzle Dazzle man. RD, Mr. Carter. Get that 2-1 two, two press. Trying to disrupt the offense. Look at the poise of Bibby. Look at the poise of Bibby. Bramlett double teamed in the corner. 
by Bibby, and he drops it in. Are you serious? He's a diaper dandy. This is his first game as a collegian. He's on the road. He's against one of the scoring programs in America. But somebody tell it to him. Mr. Bibby, he's doing it all. There he is with a hijack, with a steal. Picked his pocket with a bad bet. I love this guy. I mean, Bibby is special. He's awesome, baby, with a tap the leg. He's for real. 20 points in his debut. And his poise and his passing ability. Jump ball. Nice job by the heels and the double team. You know, it's hard. You look at a kid like that, John, to think he just played high school five minutes months ago. We're going to watch Mr. Dickinson, number 23, put a show on. And light up the board. He's on fire. Come on, baby. <laughs> I want to be cool. Always Coca-Cola. Introducing the Plymouth Neon Espresso. An espresso coupe. With cool features inside now like a 150 horsepower engine, fog lights, and a rear spoiler. They're more playful than ever before. These guys really do come to life when you're not looking. Just like in Toy Story. Nuh-uh. You're my favorite deputy. Wow. Disney's hit movie Toy Story is now on video. And new toys are at Burger King. Buzz Lightyear and Woody Talk. And RC Racer Really Moves. Your kids can collect all three. Only $2.69 each with any value meal. Sweetie, could you get me home with the dishes? Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Does he do windows, too? Welcome back. John Saunders and Dick Vitale. And Dean Smith started the night needing 26 victories to pass Adolph Rupp as the all-time winning coach in college basketball. He's going to need some work down these last three-plus minutes to get the first of those 26. That's going to be very difficult to get this year with the toughness of the ACC. The average 27.1 over the last six years, but the bottom line with the toughness of that conference this year, it would be an amazing achievement if he could pull out 27 with 26 wins this year. The break eight off Ruff's record. Bennett Davison just picked up his fifth. He's fouled out of the game. They got a nice rotation though with Davison, with Bramlett, with Harris. There'll be some nights these players, because they're inexperienced, will be up and down. There's Bobby sitting to the right, Bobby Olson. Lute Olsen's lovely bride, 43 years, 11 grandchildren. I always tease Luke. That number to me is more amazing than any other number. Lute Olsen really did a great job of practice today. I'll tell you, he just didn't have a normal workout. He was really teaching and working. Age is immaterial. This guy is just so alert. The same with Dean Smith. Mario's not out, helping themselves with the free throw line. Can't really make things happen defensively, John. And for years, North Carolina has always been able to go to multiple defenses, change the rhythm of the game, but they haven't had that kind of personnel over the last few years. Oh, big walk underneath by Carter. When I say that kind of personnel, that's a win a lot of games, but to go to that fast tempo game. Go to home. Boxed himself in. Jamon Williams loses the handle. Watch him make the play. Dickerson. Oh, great oh defense. Great rejection. Carter again on back-to-back -back trips. Jamon Williams to the baseline. Underneath. No shot in the foul goes against Mike Bibby. Last year, North Carolina started out really well at 16 and 4, and then they really struggled their last 12. They were 21 and 11, struggled the last 12 games. We're going to watch right here, Carter defensively rotating over with those great legs, excellent timing. He's going to have a big time year this year. He is going to be a PT peer this year, Vincent Carter. 
Again, the heels. Well, he struggled last year, shot 52% last year, Jameson. Now, 8 of 16 from the line. That's 50% for the Tar Heels. And one of the reasons they're down 14. Player they missed from last year, but they go for shots. Mr. Calabria, obviously Jeff McGinnis is solid at the point guard slot, but Calabria made a lot of big threes. And that's an area they've got to be a little concerned with. Today's college basketball, you better be able to knock down that three-point shot regularly. Now Harris has it stripped uh, behind it. Ed Coda with Perry takes it up, and he'll go earn a trip to the free throw line. Eddie Coda had a solid first half to neutralize them here in the second half. Went to St. Thomas Moore. He's not your typical freshman. He's 20 years of age and really a lot of courage. His mom and dad were in a serious automobile crash in Panama. His dad was paralyzed. He left school for a year, was floundering, really on the streets. And then all of a sudden, through the guidance of Coach Eisenberg, he got himself back in order, really did a solid job. Became an honor student as we look here at the numbers. Free throw line last season, 67. It was third worst in the ACC, and tonight it's been Brick City. But a great, great story. Beautiful guy. He's got his life in order now. Always was a gifted student. Look at Swicker sitting on the sideline. Frustrated. Two seniors there, Charlie McNary next to him. Yeah, but Derry played in high school with Jerry Stackhouse. Moorhead scholar, outstanding student. There's the pressure. He's at Jamison at the point of it. Don't want to pick up your dribble. Trying to deny the ball to Bibby. Spread the floor. Dickerson, nice little pump fake. Let it go. It's kicked back up and in by Harris, I believe. Either he or Bramlett. It was Harris. What a great effort tonight by Arizona. I mean a superb effort. They really have played well. Coda throws it up. Will not go. Bramlett is fouled by Akota. You talk about confidence. This is the way to build confidence with those front court people like Bramlett and Harris and Davidson, Eggerson, getting a lot of minutes. They only got four guys here who played in New York last year when they won the preseason NIT and they beat Michigan and Georgetown. I can't wait to get to the Big Apple next week for the semis and the finals of the NIT. It's always a special tournament. They do a great job in New York. The Hoosiers will be there. Indiana could have the Dukies there if they could beat Vanderbilt. Oklahoma State one year won it. Look at Miles Simon. Come on, don't yawn, don't yawn. Miles, don't be the yawning man. Oh yawn. We caught him yawning. <laughs> we tell him to put the camera on. It was born. Well, it's a long trip, as we said, from Arizona. He's tired. 20 to go now in the game as Okalaja knocks down a three and here we'll get a chance to see Dean Smith work the clock and nobody does it better than Dino in the final two minutes of the game. Well, he's working the clock right now with the timeout, changing defenses. Remember in the last minute of the game, the clock stops after a score. As we look here at the storyline, Mr. Dickerson with 31 points. Bibby also has been sensational tonight. The whole club, they've really played great as a team. Look at the front court differential. He said that would be a concern as North Carolina returned an experience front court. John, I'm all pumped up. I got so much I want to throw out here. You're looking at me in amazement. I mean, early in the season, I get so excited. Bibby today with five assists and just two turnovers. You got to do double duty. You got to go to work tomorrow. College football on ABC. Blocking foul goes against Hope Elijah. Hey John, can I say happy birthday to my father? Am I allowed to do that? I think you just did. Can I say happy birthday, yes, Dad? Dad, I love you. Happy birthday down in New Jersey. Dean will certainly get the attention. He'll get the attention of his team. He looks concerned here. Lute Olsen's going to feel really good. Jesse Evans right next to him. for Bibby now. He's had a great, great day. Look at that line for a freshman. Five assists, only two turnovers, and 21 points. Only two turnovers. He's really stroked the ball well. A star is born. They've had some great guard combinations at Arizona over the years. 
one of the reasons Stoudemire was special. 94, they were in the NCAA Final Four. It's the year that Arkansas won it all. Then Arkansas came here in 95. They were blown out by John Calipari in Massachusetts in the opening game. And then rebounded and had a great year despite what some people said. They got back into the finals of the NCAA, losing to UCLA. Terry trying to dribble out of trouble and just loses it. You're an interim coach, though. You've got to win that home game. And losing that game at Tulsa is certainly not a way that Steve Lavin would like to start. But you got to root for him. He loves basketball. I root for those assistants who get opportunities. Soto with a long three that never really had a chance at the time it left his hand. 45 seconds remaining. We talked to Dean in the offseason, and he said, I have a very young team. And when coaches talk like that, you often go, wow, yeah, well, you're Carolina. You just reload, but the inexperience is showing tonight, although Arizona's a young team as well. Arizona's very young. I mean, there is young when you look at Arizona. And Arizona came out here with that explosion, and Dickerson having a great night, and Jameson having a great night really has been the difference. When you shut off the team's number one option, and your number one option has a big night like Dickerson has had, that has been the difference here. But from a positive side, I believe Coder and Carter are going to have outstanding years. That car, Giles, give him another player on the inside defensively and rebounding-wise when he gains his eligibility. Carter's got to make the open three. Swicker certainly is going to be able to give him more point production than he did here tonight. Terry with five points and nine assists. So out of that backcourt, pretty good game for Fibby and Terry. Arizona now rebuilding, just reloading. Nice pass. Shaman Williams with a circus move to knock it in. Nice score by Shaman. Carter commits the foul on Harris. Somehow North Carolina's got to convince their quick group that they really can play on a defensive end and force some turnovers and get some easy baskets. Today, there, any kind of pressure they've put on the floor has been neutralized by the ball handling skills of Jason Terry and also from Michael Bibby. And that's Jesse Evans, outstanding assistant coach, nodded and said, I like it. Look, he's blocking the view assignment. Sit down, Jesse. We're trying to get... Sit down. Thanks a lot, Jesse. Thanks. Look, sit down. We're trying to get Simon some... Look at Simon. We're trying to get you some exposure, Miles. And when he comes back, what a wing scoring duel they will have with Simon and Dickerson. Look at Bibby smiling. He's not nervous right now. He's not nervous now, Johnny S. Quite a performance by Arizona, and once again, playing with that, their only returning starter, Miles Simon, trying to work out some academic difficulties. Oak Elijah with a long three, and he buries it. He can shoot the three now. Adam Ola shot the three last year really well. Bramlett, they missed him. He had a deuce. It's been a lot of fun, John. I've enjoyed it. Always enjoy seeing you. One of the best in the business. My guy, John Saunders, a true pro. It's always fun sitting next to you and doing these college basketball games. And look at the excitement on the face of Mike Bibby. Great win. Simon leading the cheers. Tonight he was a cheerleader. His team responded in a positive way. Lou Dawson's got to feel like a million dollars with this young team the way they performed tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, 11-point victory, and there's a look at Miles Simon. High fives all around for his teammates. He's disappointed he couldn't be on the floor, but at least his trip from Arizona was worthwhile to watch his team win. Take a look right now. Look at the freshman point guard. He gets a smile. He knows he has passed the reviews. The reviews are coming in, and they're rating a five-star performance. Michael Bibby. Tremendous night for the freshman. 83-72 is your final. You've been watching the ESPN Worldwide Leader in Sports. That's it from Springfield. For Dick Vitale, I'm John Saunders. Thanks again for watching. Right now, That's back to the studio. Football. Let's join Mike Torito. Torico. <laughs> who, who am I? I don't know. Thank you, John. Coming up, Trajan Langdon, who had 20 points in the season opener for the Dukies, takes on Vanderbilt, the NIT quarterfinals, coming up next here on ESPN. So welcome back to our studios. Impressive performance by Bibby, wasn't it? And 
We look forward to January 4th and March 6th. Pac-10 fans, Brevin Knight against Mike Bibby.